Well, that brings me to an issue I know that you've heard often, and, and I want us to, to look at this for a second, because one of the strong accusations against those who hold to a historical Genesis paradigm right. is that it's not based upon science. <laughs> but, but that can be true. It, it, doesn't this paradigm also look at the reality of the physical evidence? Oh, of course it does. The problem with that objection, which I'm familiar with, is it's smuggling into the word science an assumption. And when the, someone says, well, you're not looking at it scientifically, what they're presupposing or smuggling in is you're only allowed to use physical processes. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't live a single day thinking that way. Every time you get a text on your phone, you know, someone leaves a note in your car door when they bump your car in a supermarket parking lot. Normal human life depends on our ability to detect the action of intelligence. And we don't collapse intelligence into strictly physics. So if a scientist tells me I'm not allowed to use intelligent design to understand or explain the world, I ask him, how do you get through your day, mm. right? Because you're doing it all the time, very reliably. Science in its deep sense, its original usage in Latin meant knowledge. We know that Stonehenge was constructed by an intelligence. Mm -hmm. That conclusion will be true when our current theories of physics are long gone. So these inferences to intelligence are very robust, they're strong, and they're fully rational. So I think that the, the, the objection that you mentioned is really misdirected and it's question begging. Yeah.